I grew up watching Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color. My favorite episodes were always the ones where he'd show Disneyland. Everything about it seemed so wonderful and magical, and I always wanted to go. In 1971, they opened Walt Disney World in Florida. Even though that was much closer, it still seemed out of reach. My parents were not exactly kid-orientated, so family time was usually fishing and going to bars. Later, when I had kids, it just was too expensive. Our family time was more local, going to museums and parks, down the shore, the boardwalk, great adventure, stuff like that, and some of the other local theme parks that were around. So I didn't get to go to Walt Disney World till I was 40, and that happened to be Walt Disney World's 25th anniversary. That was 1997. We feel that we have bookended our trips. My first visit was on its 25th anniversary, and the last will be the 50th. And wow, have things changed since my first time going. Too many things that used to be free no longer are. And that just started lately. It started in 2018 when they started charging for overnight parking at the Disney resorts. I can understand when hotels are in big cities and parking's at a premium, you're going to have to pay for overnight parking. That makes sense. Here, they have plenty of room. There's no reason for them to be charging for parking overnight except, you know, because they're cheap and money hungry. They have plenty of parking and as you can see in this video when we stayed at Pop Century. Magic bands used to be free. Now you have to pay for those and they start at 20 bucks. They added Disney Genie when before there was just free fast pass. Now you have to pay for the privilege of not having to spend all day waiting in line for a ride. Let's do the math. For a family of four who wants to skip the line to get on one of their favorite rides, First family has to pay $15 each for Disney Genie, that's $60. Then the added fee for special rides, which could be as high as $20 each, that's $80. So a family of four would pay an extra $140 a day on top of their tickets just to ride one ride. And we used Genie and we didn't think it was that great. The old Fast Pass system was much better as far as convenience and working right and easy to use and easy to do. For Genie, you had to get up at least by 7 to start trying to book your ride. And that's only if you're staying on Disney property. If you're staying anywhere else, you can't actually book anything till you're on Disney property. So basically, you have to get up at least by 7 and try to book as fast as you can because within seconds, anything extra special like Rise of the Resistance or, you know, the, the best rides, they'll be all gone. And when we were using Disney Genie, you supposedly, like once you go on one ride, you can book another ride and so on. Well, all the rides are booked by 2 o'clock, so there is no choices for anything after 2. Basically, you would pay all that extra money for genie and you'd get to ride maybe one or two rides that's it now let's talk about the food all the other times except for this last time when you paid to have a signature meal at one of their fancy restaurants the food was really good it was very flavorful it was like really good this last time we went to some of the restaurants we've been to before and some new ones and i can't actually say that anything wowed me the average meal for two of us would be close to a hundred dollars and the food was eh. We ate at um, Mario and Enzo's, and I've had frozen meals that were better than what we had. That's another thing. Not to mention the food prices keep going up ridiculously. The thing I hate the most about their changes is how they're taking away the magic. They're making everything cheap, easy, and cheap. I don't like the new rides that they've made. Ratatouille is just a bunch of projections with a little bit of theming. I hate that they took out the great movie ride to put in that Mickey thing and again just a bunch of projections and cheap little cutouts. There's no detail being put into anything anymore. Everything is like plain and simple. I hate what they did to the Disney store in downtown Disney. They took out all the really cool fun stuff. All the cool decorations they had. They got rid of that and just made it look like you're going to Target. Which, you know, Target's nice, but I like the Disney magic. So the Disney magic in the store is gone. They redid Mouse Gear and Epcot. Again, ripped up anything that was cool and fun and 
you know, now you just have a, a target. The rides are all getting cheap looking. Another thing is the entertainment. I really, really wanted to go to see the very merriest after Christmas party parade and like only one third of the cast members that usually are in the parade were in the parade. So you had a lot less marching wooden soldiers, a lot less reindeer, cookies, all that other stuff that made it super fun. So I was very disappointed about that because that was something on my bucket list that I always wanted to see and that made me sad. Don't see them putting a lot of detail into anything they do like they did when they refurbished fantasy land in Magic Kingdom or anything as detailed as Animal Kingdom. I think everything is just going to be cheap and fast. Even the resorts. The new ones, they look like it could be a Marriott anywhere. There's nothing special about them. They charge you like they're incredibly special. You could stay very close nearby at a Waldorf for cheaper than what they charge you. Anything magical and cool that was neat to see when you went into resorts that's all gone. We stayed at Coronado Springs before. They had an awesome main building with a lot of cool details to it. Now it's just like any other hotel. I hate greed. Walt Disney would be rolling in his grave if he knew how corporate Disney only cares about the bottom line. His vision was always the Disney experience and that vision is just disappearing. And it was supposed to be a special place for families and I don't see how your average family can afford that anymore. To give you an example, I used to be able to say, not that long ago, in the uh, 2000 teens, if you stayed on Disney Resort property and you got your tickets and your resort stay at the right time, which wasn't really that much of a special time, it was still crowded. If you stay on Disney property, you could on average spend $100 per person and that would cover your tickets and your stay. Now we paid five thousand dollars for us to stay for those last those five days the last time we went. That's crazy. I mean how much more expensive everything has gotten. I understand there was a pandemic and they were closed for a few months. So why are you trying to recoup all your money so quickly and all that? I think it's just gotten ridiculous. I'm going to take that $5,000 that we'll be saving on our Disney trips and go do other stuff. I can go to Alaska. I can go to a cruise anywhere. I can do five cruises. We'll be exploring other stuff. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the video. May the Force be with you. Impressive. The most impressive.